Welcome back to the channel guys. Today I want to do a little DIY thrift store upcycle. Um, I went the other day to one of the local thrift stores in my area and I ended up finding this beautiful vintage picture. However, I feel like it needs some cleaning up and maybe just um, do something with the frame. So that's what we're going to go ahead and work on. So I ended up getting this cute, adorable um, vintage. It looks like it's from 1981. It is signed and dated the year on the bottom left hand corner. It looks a little dull so I want to go ahead and maybe do something with it. So we're going to go ahead and get started with it. I began by getting a razor blade and removing the price tag off of the picture frame and then I got some painters tape and started uh, taping the perimeter of the frame here. As soon as I was done taping off the area, I used Aunt Fanny's vinegar spray and a rag to clean off the frame. Here I'm going to use some Waverly paint that I got at Walmart. I believe this was about $5.96 or so. This is the plaster chalk paint. I'm only going to use what was left on that little lid there. And as you see, I am tapping the brush. And on top of tapping it on the brush, I am also going to be using a napkin or a rag and tapping the excess paint into the napkin. Once I tap it, I am going to be using a flicking technique so that I can cover the picture frame because I don't want everything covered. That is going to help you reach that antique look that you are looking for. You can customize this any way that you want. The more or less, that is literally up to you. This is such an easy project to do because of the fact that you can fix any mistakes that you make. And each side is going to have its own unique appearance. Once I am somewhat satisfied with the front portion, I am just simply turning it around just because it's a lot easier to do it this way. And again, I am only tapping a little bit of that chalk paint, tapping it on the napkin or your rag and doing that flicking motion on that frame. The key part to this technique is to simply not saturate your paintbrush, but going little by little, flicking motions, tapping it, and adding layers to it that is going to give it that technique that you're going to really enjoy at the end. Here I just turned the piece around again and going around in the areas where I might feel like it might need a little bit more of that paint 
And once I am satisfied and that dries a bit, I am grabbing a sand block and just simply sanding off the areas where I feel like I might have gone a little overboard. Here I am gathering some Waverly uh, sealant with a smaller brush. The reason why I'm using the smaller brush is because it's a little bit more detailed so it can go into the little crevices of the frame so that I can seal it and protect the wood. Okay, so this is the piece so far. I have kind of did a, um, I've done a dry brush on it to kind of give it that more older look. And then I use a smaller brush to go ahead and seal it. And the sealant that I have is a, a clear wax here. It's a water base wax. And this I just got it, it's from Waverly. I got it from Walmart, it's super cheap, like two, three dollars. And um, if there's any areas that you feel like you overdid it, it's okay. You could just use a sand block like I did right here or a sandpaper to sand it down in the areas where you want to go ahead and have more of that wood look to it. And I like it because no side looks the same and it gives it that vintage look um, or an antique look to it. So I'm going to go ahead and let that dry for a little bit, remove the tape, and then we'll go ahead and proceed by cleaning this off and showing you the final product later. At this point, I have left the frame to dry only for a few short minutes. I'm starting to remove the tape around it. I know it's not completely dry yet, but I believe that this is the good time to go ahead and do that because you will see me here shortly gather a razor blade to go around the glass just in case there is any leftover residue it'll be easily to remove For some weird reason, I ended up losing the clip, but I used some glass cleaner to clean off any residue that I had on the glass. I decided to hang the artwork piece right here in my breakfast nook area. This is the place where both myself and my daughter have breakfast every single morning. I enjoy a cup of coffee. This particular wall has somewhat of a farmhouse feel, but I've been trying to get more into a farmhouse vintage slash antique look. So I know that this is gonna be a piece that I'm gonna be able to enjoy for many more days to come. If you enjoyed these types of videos, such as DIYs, thrifting, home decor, and beauty on a budget, I would hope that you can consider subscribing, hitting that notification bell, and leaving a comment below. Thank you so much, and God bless.